Cycle 17 of this woman's brilliant show that I am a huge fan of. That's right, it's called America's Next Top Model by Tara Banks. This is her novel. No, it's like novel, it's fiction. Okay, yeah, exactly. So it's called Model Land. I think we should all take a good look of this, at this cover that is just the most fucking ugly thing I have ever seen. And uh, don't get ahead of me. Don't get ahead of me. You made a, it sounds like you read the novel or something. We will be talking about Smile later. later. First off, this font. What the fuck? Uh, it looks like a, like a Disney ride circa 1989. Um, and this eye, and this weird, like, if you're gonna do an eye, do an eye, but like, why does it have to be all weird graphic -y and like spider eyelashes? Uh, and um, it's 500 and like 50 pages. Listen to this. So this came out September 13th, and uh, I gotta say, I haven't read the whole thing. I read every single page of Snuggie's novel. I could not force myself <laughs> to read and model it, and I fucking love Top Model. I love it so much. Um, this novel is, uh, it's a, it's a young adult novel. Um, although it was found at chapters in the front section under Fierce, Fabulous, Funny Females. Oh. Yeah, like right next to Tina Fey's book. It is wrong. Oh. So wrong. Um, this book, so essentially, it is a mix of Charlie the Chocolate Factory meets Harry Potter um, meets, oh gosh, wait, there's more, meets like some weird dystopia. Um, and, uh, of course, it meets America's Next Top Model. All told through the voice, and it's really clear that Tyra Banks wrote this because her voice is fucking crazy. <laughs> you are now on the run to become America's Next Top Model. <laughs> you can tell, like, dramatic pauses everywhere. So, um, there is a bit of flack. Sometimes I feel like celebrity books are just way too easy, you know? Like Justin Bieber's memoir, easy, it's gonna be terrible. Um, so Tyra was sort of questioned about this, about celebrity novels, and this is a direct quote from her promoting her book. I question when celebrities write books, but I don't consider myself a celebrity. I consider myself a businesswoman. <laughs> Business school. Oh wow. <laughs> no, just to say where, I have no idea where. I'm a producer and a creator and a storyteller. Oh. Sure you are. It's the editors of your program, the, the real storytellers. Yeah. Not you with being yeah. a storyteller. So it's a little bit different than being an actress and being like, I wrote a book. <laughs> sure. Okay, Tyler. So that's exactly it. So let's let's get it. let's just dive right in. So clearly you can see I read like the first hundred pages and everything was a say well moment for me. <laughs> and then I was like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. So essentially, uh, this is the story. The main character, her name is Tuki de la Cream. going on, like the opening of every chapter or every other chapter has this weird italicized sort of, you know, third person super narrator and then it goes, it's, it's oh, to make sense. Um, and then it says, it's, our tale begins on a Thursday afternoon, the most ordinary of ordinary afternoons, a few days shy of the most unordinary day of the entire year. Oh. Tookie de la Cream was spraying <laughs> on the back, on the hallway floor of her school, the Bangle Bobble and Bead Institute. Oh, no. B3, as it was commonly called. And then blah, blah, blah. So basically, she's like sitting there being a nobody or um, a, for what she was called, a, uh, a forget a girl. That's what they call it, nobody. A forget a girl. And she's putting whipped cream into her mouth, waiting for people to just like step on her because no one pays attention to her. Um, and there's this big, like, her parents hate her. She's a terrible forget girl. Her eyes are mismatched. She's got like one hazel eye and one brown eye. She's so sad. So sad. She's all awkward and tall and gawky, and of course she's got a giant forehead. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Tyra Banks, right? Uh, and her sister, which is Miracle, 
spelled like M Y R R. Apparently, like the first reader copies of it, there's like three different spellings of the name. But it looks like they fixed it. I haven't watched it carefully. And everything is leading up to this one big day um, where I've, all these women randomly are chosen to go to Model Land. And uh, I found a section that kind of maybe explains this as best as I could find. So, here we go. Page 66. Oh my god, Jiffy whispered. Golden clouds could mean only one thing. Everyone turned and gaped at the mountain in the center of town. All at once, huge waves of the mountain's golden fog began to vanish, and beams of gold light that transformed the golden shadows cascaded down the ridge and swept over every street. <laughs> Tookie heard a soft, alluring giggle in her ear. She felt a swipe of satin brush up against her arm. The smell of blood oranges filled the air. I think she's working on a perfume. It's happening, a woman yelled, rushing out of the mall. The shadows, cried a man who was washing windows on a high platform. Oh, oh window washer. Your core. If you've noticed, 
we are on a rocky boat. Okay, so now I'm on a boat, I don't know. <laughs> Metaphora indeed. And your, shall I say, cycles have all been synchronized. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed by now. Crappy, see? <laughs> Grown sat throughout the room, took you pressed on her abdomen. This is not a coincidence, Bella. Usually it takes muchos meses, so many months of ladies, for a lady's cycle. <laughs> to, shall I say, organize? But here at Model, on, Model End, we have an accelerated that harmony. <laughs> Please give a very warm welcome to Eric Fell. <laughs> 